Hey what's up guys it's me Nick and I'm back with another video and for today's video we will be taking a look at the Dawn issue 2 Spider-Man edition. I prefer this Spider-Man colorway compared to the Dawn issue 1 Spider-Man version. I don't know I think that one looked a little bit childish and this one has a more refined look to it. Anyways let's now talk about traction. Okay, so this has a spider web traction pattern that supports the Spider-Man theme. The outsole here though is translucent and has this really dope design. It's actually my favorite part of the sneakers since it really brings you that Spider-Man comic vibes. So kudos to Adidas for making this amazing design with this outsole. Regarding with its performance though, I will say it was inconsistent. Sometimes it had a really nice bite, but sometimes it will stop on a dime, which I really think is not good and was inconsistent for me. I did watch other reviews about the sneaker, and they all said the same thing. On inner courts, you have no problems, but on dusty courts, that's where you'll start slipping since this does pick up some dust. But a simple wipe will solve the problem of slipping. So yeah, a simple wipe could solve the problem. Next up, let's talk about cushion. The Dawn Issue 2 features a full-length bounce and of course the cushion feels great. It feels comfortable but one problem I have here though was the tongue. It has a bulk here on the inside which really hugs into your midfoot and I think when playing a long time, that midfoot would probably hurt. I personally think they added way too much padding here. I don't know, I guess that's subjective since other reviewers said that they like it for support purposes. But personally, I really don't like it since it adds weight. And this is by far the heaviest sneaker I have in my closet. But anyways, moving on to the looks and materials. The colorway I have here has a mixture of different materials which I really really like. You can see here that we have some mesh on the upper. And here in the forefoot area, we also have this nice spiderweb detail fusing, which I think really looks cool. Adidas really put in some thought on the details for the shoe. And as you can see here on the heel area, we have a nice spider logo or Donovan Mitchell's logo. Please correct me if I'm wrong, I'm really not sure. But we also have some rubber caging here in the sides. Other synthetic materials such as leather, which I really really like. Okay, so moving on to the fit. I did go true to size for these pairs, and I think true to size will also work out for the majority of people, especially narrow footers. For flat footers though, maybe go half a size up since I did mention that tongue problem where your midfoot will hurt because it's a bit too tight here in the middle area. So yeah, if you are a wide footer and you don't want to experience and you don't want to experience too much pain in the midfoot, I would probably recommend you guys to go half a size up. But for narrow footers, again, as I said, just go through to size, you won't have any problems. So let's now talk about durability. Durability wise, since it does have translucent traction, I wouldn't recommend playing outdoors in these sneakers. For playing indoors or on dusty courts, there will be no problems. And since it does have some thick materials, I think this will last you long. So let's now move on to the last part, which is support and lockdown. As you can see, the heel part of these shoes is pretty chunky. You do have an internal heel counter, and when I tested these out, I didn't have any problems like my heel slipping out. It's locked in there, which I think is really nice. Heel protection is also there, and as I mentioned earlier, it does have a rubber cage system here on the side. So when making those lateral movements, you will not encounter any problems with your foot slipping off to the side. Overall, the Dawn Issue 2 is a really great buy and I recommend this to anyone who wants to cop these pair out. The main gripe that I have about these shoes are just the tongue problem and the, the thick materials because it really adds weight. But if you are that type of person who doesn't really care about the weight, 
and still managed to play outstandingly. Then I suggest for you guys to buy these. This is very aesthetically pleasing. As you can see, the color really pops out. Performance-wise though, I'll give this an 8 out of 10. Just because of that tongue problem where it hugs your midfoot really, really tight. But overall, I recommend this to anyone who wants to buy this. It's a really, really great buy. That is it for today's video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel. So see you in the next one and thank you for watching.